Hey Sam, how are you? Oh, uh, I'm a woman now. What do you got there? Oh, this, uh, this is nothing. I just put it with the others. Is that your luggage? Of, of course it is. Well, it looks like someone else's name on the bag tag. Uh, this is just misinformation. Yeah, about that. You're a Biden admin official, but you keep stealing other people's luggage. Uh, th that's just a big misunderstanding. These are all mine. I don't think they are. You've been caught on camera stealing other people's luggage. <laughs> that's the misunderstanding. These aren't other people's luggage. They're, they're mine. So let me explain. In addition to being non-binary and gender fluid, I am also person fluid, which means I'll oftentimes identify as other people. And when I do, I'm simply taking my own luggage because I am them and these are mine. Therefore, it's not stealing. Just one problem with that, you're not other people. That's kind of bigoted, uh, so typical. It's sentiments like that that make up so much hate that us in our community face every day. When you deny my reality, you are literally inflicting violence on my community. What happens to the other person when you identify as them? I don't know. I've never really thought about that before. But it's not that important because they don't matter when the world revolves around me. That sounds like narcissism. No, I'm a protected class, so instead of narcissism, I prefer the term bravery. Being a protected class is kind of like being an endangered species. It's great. You're a high-ranking nuclear official. People wonder if you actually know what you're doing. Should they be concerned? No, not at all. I am very well qualified in nuclear energy. It's actually pronounced nuclear, not nuclear. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, I'm pretty fluid with how I spell and pronounce things. Kind of like being illiterate? Exactly. But anyway, I can assure you, I only got this job based on my experience in the field of nuclear energy, kink, fuel disposal, and puppy fetishes. Do you have a degree in nuclear energy? Absolutely. From what university? It was homeschooling. So a couple weeks after you were first caught stealing, you were giving a spanking seminar at a kink conference. Yeah. <laughs> the job never stops. A lot of important work to be done. I don't know if you understand the gravity of the situation. You've been charged with a felony. <laughs> they like to discriminate against the gender fluid. Discriminating against thieves is what they're doing. No, it's clearly discrimination because I'm gender fluid. You don't think you were charged with a felony because you committed a felony? No, they don't charge people with felonies for things like that. Only to spread hate in the LGBTQ community. Weird how that works. Is that your dog? Sure is. What do you do with that dog? What don't I do with that dog? <laughs> I'm a man now. That's pretty life-changing for me to hear. I figured it would be. On another note, in the past, you defended a male prostitution website when it got taken down. While defending it, you're on record saying many LGBT youth engage in sex work just to survive. Yeah. What's the problem with that? The part about you advocating for youth engaging in sex work. That's deeply disturbing. How so? Youth and sex work. Oh. That is how transphobic people who are full of hate and mental stability see it, isn't it? Look, here's the way I see it. Age is just a social construct, as you know. So in that statement, I was just identifying the young people as older people. It's actually a lot more accurate that way. Well, this has been great, but to be honest, I've got a lot of things to do. I need to make some federal decisions regarding nuclear waste, sexualize some animals, and I need to go through all these suitcases and find out what's in them. I love getting new things. Just for the record, you do know it's illegal to steal people's things, right? You still don't get it, do you? Look, I'm a person who has an attraction to other people's possessions. That doesn't make me a criminal. It makes me part of a protected class. Did you just steal my wallet? Oh, this one sucks. It's all men's clothes. 
You will never believe this, but I'm currently experiencing a big shadow ban by big tech. A lot of people who want to see my videos simply aren't seeing them. So if you're seeing this video and wanna ensure that you see all my videos and stay connected with me, I'd love to have you join my email list. You can do that at awakenwithjp.com and it ensures you and I stay connected.